I figured it had been a little bit since I posted another video. Today I have a 1984 John Deere Snowfire. This sled is kind of a unique snowmobile for John Deere for 84. It was the last sled off the line. Being built in November. There was only 276 of these produced in 1984. Kind of a bare bone sled. No tack, no speedometer, no oil injection. Cleated track. And a free air motor. I believe the Snowfire is the last production snowmobile to be pre-mixed. I also believe it to be, besides race sleds, I also believe it to be the last cleated track sled and the last free air sled. Meaning no fan to keep it cool. You had to be moving. This one here is in the almost done process here. Didn't want to recover the seat being that was original. A couple cracks in it, but not terrible. As you can see, I'm waiting on a new choke cable to come in, so pardon my cobby choke cable so I can run it. Just be gentle with the hood here. Just like the Spitfires, for some reason people had a tendency to tip these over. A little busted up as you can tell, but not too terrible. Just got done doing crank seals on this. These have, uh, just like the Kawasaki Free Air Drifters, has this HSR ignition, which unfortunately is prone to fail. He also used it all the way uh, from 1980 to 84. It was in the Spitfires from 80 to 82, that ignition. And then Snowfire, 82 through 84. And uh, it's just a cool little sled because there's also no chain case, it's direct drive. Very simple, like the simple bare bones as they come. I'll give you a view of the suspension. It's Deer's longest travel suspension. It's got some upper rollers. I forget the exact distance of travel it has offhand. Sprint Fire and Snow Fire carry the same suspension. Here's the manufacture date, 11 of 83, the 84 model year. Thanks again for watching.